Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw one of my favorite patterns and you can incorporate these patterns when you create your own bigger drawing. So first, use the pencil to draw. So this is for practice. Remember in my first video I said that you don't have to buy expensive materials when you're starting because you want to be able to practice you know, drawing the patterns before um, drawing on more expensive papers. So let's start with just the, this line paper and a pencil. And then I'm also going to use just an ordinary ballpoint. Okay. Just a regular ball pen. Okay. And drawing the patterns for practice. So we could start by drawing, you know, um, space. It could be, you know, we try to draw a square. I'm going to do this as best as I can. It's probably not going to be a square, but it doesn't matter. Okay. And then what I would like to do is I would like to divide this square into four little spaces. Okay. Divide them as equally as I can. And then the pattern really looks like this. If this is a little space that you have, this is, you know, the basic of this pattern. So from the corner, you draw a slant line going to the opposite side. But you don't want that line to be too far from this edge. And then from where you stopped, you're going to start a new line. So you're going to draw a line from here, going to the opposite side. Again, making sure that that slant line is not too far from the edge. You will continue to follow that same pattern until this entire space is filled. Okay. So you're going to continue to do that. So I'm almost done filling this whole space. Okay, right there. Now I am going to follow that pattern and um, create like four of those in this space. Okay, so four of these. I can start anywhere. I can start here at the center if I want. I can start in this corner, in this corner, and um, the result of the combination of all of these is gonna is going to uh, depend on where you actually start. But I don't want you to worry about you know what the result's gonna be because regardless of where you start, the result's gonna look really cool. That's why I like this particular pattern because it's very versatile. Okay, so let's start. I would like to start from the center just for fun. Draw that, and then I will continue. Um, with that pattern, but going from here to this edge. Okay. What I'm trying to avoid is a, a really big gap between my snot line and the edge. So we, I will continue um, following the same pattern. Now I'm heading to the next space. Earlier I started from the center and um, just to see, um, you know, what the result's gonna be, I'm gonna, tr you know, just, I don't wanna follow that same exact beginning um, just for fun, because I, I myself is curious, okay, what is it gonna look like if I start from a, the, a different corner this time? So earlier I started from the center, this time I would like to start from, from this corner and see what the result's gonna be. And then from where I stopped, again, I'm going to draw a line going to the opposite edge, opposite side of that little area square, and then follow that same exact pattern until the entire space is filled. So as you can see here, um, I created kind of like a fan design here in the middle. Now, I can kind of see that if I start from this corner on the next line, that I could potentially create that same fan, except it's facing up, okay? So um, I am going to do that because I kind of like that look. And I will just continue with this pattern until I fill the space up, okay? 
this time I am going to start from the center again to create that same um, fan design on this side because I can kind of see that that's what it would look like. And I will just continue this pattern until my page is filled. Now, there it is. Um, there, these fan designs are kind of like the byproduct of drawing those different lines. And what I'm going to do here is see this center. If I don't draw over the um, pencil line right there, there's, that's going to be a big gap. So I'm going to draw over the pencil line. And same thing with the edges. And my reason why I didn't draw um, over those pencil lines from the beginning is because when I am creating a bigger Zentangle inspired art, um, sometimes I don't need to draw lines on those edges because there are times when I want this particular pattern to be connected with a different pattern um, within that bigger picture. So and I got used to that. That's why even when I'm doing this little practice, I do those edges the very last. So anyway, this is what it's going to look like. And the good thing about this particular pattern is that it's very versatile. Aside from the fact that you can start from any corner, you can actually draw this particular design or pattern on any shape of space. So for example, if you have a space that looks like this, you can still draw that. And you're probably thinking, well, there are no corners. You can create the corners yourself. You can divide this into triangles. And then instead of drawing a straight line, you can even follow that curve. Okay, so if you want to start from this corner, follow that curve instead of drawing a straight line. Okay, and follow this curve instead of drawing a straight line. And then because this edge right here is straight, then you can draw a straight line or straight segment there. And then where the where the edge is more of a curved line, follow just simply follow that curve. So this is just a variation of that particular pattern. Okay, and that's what it's gonna look like. Same thing here. You follow the curve, and again you can start from any corner. And then where the edge is straight, you draw a straight line. Follow the curve. Straight line, curve, curve, straight line, curve, curve, straight line. Okay. And then here, if you want to start from here, just follow the curve. Straight line, straight line, follow the curve. Straight line, straight line, curve. Straight line, straight line, curve, straight line, straight line, until you fill the space. So it looks a little different, but it works, right? It's pretty cool. Now, what can you do with this particular design? I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to post a video about, um, you know, this particular pattern. With just this pattern, nothing else, you know, can you create um, a bigger picture that's, that looks pretty cool? Yes, you can. And I will post a video on that one and watch out for it. I'll see you again next time, everyone. Have a great, uh, have a great day.